Alright YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a new KV, take out the old banned one, and put in a new, fresh, unbanned, I mean unshared, whatever you're going to put in. I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So first off, what you're going to need is a USB stick right here. And you're going to need a JTAG. Now we got that all cleared up. You're going to need also, you're going to need your KV that's you know unbanned wherever you got it from if it's not like this it might it might be like maybe KV or just KV just rename it like this then you're gonna need flash 360 and you're gonna need 360 flash dump tool I'll put a link to the description to both of those programs for flash 360 you're gonna right click it you're gonna click extract files you're gonna click on your USB stick and then it should start extracting and then you go to your USB stick and then you should have flash 360 and the media folder you don't really need readme but I just delete it I don't know why and then after this what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out take out your 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 USB stick and you're gonna go to your JTAG and I'll show you what to do next all right, now you got your USB stick out and ready to to back up the NAND that you got on your J10. You're gonna turn it on. You see right there. You're gonna plug in your USB stick. And let me turn this on. Yeah. Alright, so what the first thing you're gonna do is go to game library, go to XEX menu, play game. Oh, and don't forget to sign in. Now right, you're gonna click right bumper. Wait, I'll show you. You're gonna click right bumper, and then you're gonna see Flash 360. You're gonna go down, so you're so it's so Flash 360 is highlighted. And you're gonna press A, and then you should get a blue screen. And then right at the bottom, you're gonna press X where it says backup current NAND file. So you're gonna press X, and button A, save entire NAND to file. You're gonna press A, and you should be backing up your NAND. And just wait for that to get 100. Sorry about the TV, it's not. It's not a flat screen, but you know it does the does the job. All right, so it says press any button to continue. I right, you press the back button, press the back button again, and press the back button again, <laughs> and then what was that out? Uh, then you're gonna you can take off your USB stick now. You can turn it off or do whatever you want. So after you finish. After you finish backing up your NAND, you plug in your USB stick, open to view folder, and then you, you should have an extra file now. It's called flash dmp.bin. Alright, that's good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this onto my folder right here. Just so I don't get confused with anything. You can go ahead and. Nah, just, Alright, awesome. now, now this is where you're going to need 360 flash dump tool. You know, extract to your desktop just so it can be easier. You got flash, you got flash dump. Now you're going to need to put these two right here on the desktop. You're going to get confused. Alright, you're going to, well, I suggest running as administrator. Since you have, if you have Vista or you, or if you have Windows 7, so you're gonna click on Keys. You're gonna click on XEX1. It's gonna be like this. Just click. If it's your first time running it, just it's gonna be like this. Click on XEX1, and if it's your first time running, it's gonna be like this. Click on CPU key, and you're gonna have to go get your CPU key and paste it in right here. And if you don't have it, well, I, um, boot up your 360 by pressing the eject button, so it can boot up on on Zell or Zealous or whatever you have 
and then combine 3 and 5 and 4 6 4 and 6 you should get your CPU key and after you have all that ready you're gonna click open file on your desktop and click on your flash DMP right. that's basically your NAND dump that you just kinda backed it up so what you're gonna hit is import you're gonna click key bolt oh wait, wait, wait. before you wanna remember maybe you wanna take note on this um, copy and paste copy and paste this information on notepad or whatever so you don't forget cause you need this and you need your DVD key as well so I already know I already know all this so I'll just go ahead and copy just my DVD key alright now, now that you have done that click import you're gonna press key bolt you're gonna click for your file the key bolt that you just bought click KV you click on key bolt you press OK it's gonna ask you where to save it save it to your desktop and call it UPD flash and click enter and then you should have a new file right here now what you're gonna do is open that file UPD flash open alright now you're gonna hit patch key bolt you're gonna click whatever your region is that's why I said take note of it because it will change your DVD key as you can see it is different than the one, than your actual DVD key on your JTAG so you're gonna paste in your new DVD key and your your type of DVD drive you have so mine said none drive info one spoof click that click OK it's gonna ask you where to save it save it again as UPD flash dot bin overwrite yes you do want to overwrite All right so everything should be good to go close this go onto your flash drive now the upd flash.bin file that you just made you're going to want to drag that into your your removable disk your usb All right after it finishes you can go ahead take it out and we're going to go to the jtag right now Alright, once you plug in your USB stick on your JTAG, you're going to go to Game Library. You're going to go to XEX menu. You're going to click Play Game. You're going to click Right Bumper. You're going to go to Flash360.XEX again. Click A on it. Then you should have like a little blue screen again. Then this time you're going to write. You're going to press the A button. Write UPD Flash. Bin to file. You're gonna click B, raw flash without keeping current KV config. Alright, now you should get a warning sign, that's alright. Just press start and then just press. Just press A. And then you should be writing your new KV onto your 36 onto your JTAG. Let's just wait for that to hit 100. And when it turns up, well, I'll just. You kind of gonna have to be prepared to take off your power cable. So you just press any button to continue. Press the back button. Press the back button. Press the back button to shut down. And right now, when it hits zero, you're gonna have to be prepared and unplug the power cable when it turns off. So it turned on. Just unplug the power cable and leave it unplugged for 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this, and I'll get back with you guys. All right, after 30 seconds, just plug it back in turn on your JTAG like normal and if everything went well and you followed my tutorial you should everything should be normal and turn your 360 your JTAG should turn on normally and now that you have an, you have your new KV installed you can go ahead sign in or you know host lobbies or whatever you're going to be doing Alright. Alright, now that we finish putting in the new KV onto your JTAG, now what I want I suggest saving Flash XEX and saving Flash 360. I mean this is I mean saving 360 flash dump and saving flash 360. Remember I'll put a link to that in the description. 
I suggest saving those because if you're gonna be hosting lobbies or signing in, you're definitely gonna need these. And then your old KB, the one that you just put in, I suggest making maybe making a folder and making one folder unbanned KBs and another banned KBs because you don't want to get confused. So you're gonna want to throw this away, or yeah, you're gonna want to throw that away. And you you don't need these anymore, so you can just put that in the recycling bin and comment rate subscribe if you have any questions you know message me PM me I'll try to answer as many as I can but if I can you know try to help each other out and I will be making more tutorials on day tagging um, if I get enough requests I'll, I'll do whatever you guys want if you guys want me to show you how to JTAG the 360 you know just ask for it if you you know you, whatever kind of tutorial you guys want just ask for it now try to do my best at doing it Okay, Alright, thanks. Uh.